I'm a civil engineer from the Netherlands. My company is working in both the UK and the Netherlands and they gave me the opportunity to uh, yeah, get some on-site experience on a big project like this. And meanwhile, one of our British colleagues went over to the Netherlands. It's some kind of uh, exchange program in that way. Everything is just that big. It's, you got to see it to, to understand how big it is instead of just a drawing with a number. So, so that's, yeah, that's impressive, absolutely. What grabs my attention is the amount of attention they pay to health and safety. It's really the top class, I think. I will definitely remember all the impressions from here and all the people. It's a good investment for me and I think for the people I'll be working with in the Netherlands. We're at the uh, front of the TBM, the tunnel boring machine, which is heading west, the first machine to break ground on Tideway. We're starting this machine, which is a, a really exciting point for us on the whole project. Uh, it's a major milestone and the start of the tunneling program here on Tideway. We are in the cabin where the TBM driver is. He's controlling the face of the TBM that is behind me. And all these screens plus more are on the control room, which is in the office. So now we've got the TBM switched on, we're going to start cutting into the tunnel face. What that means is the front of the tunnel boring machine is going to start turning, it's going to start eating away at the mud from the tunnel face and bring it back towards the back of the machine. All the muck that will come out of the TBM will be carried away by conveyor belts, across the shaft and up to the surface and then away by barge. We've also committed to bringing all of our precast segments in by river. So the segments are being cast out in the Isle of Grain and then they're also being transported by barge here to Curling Street up the River Thames. We managed to build our first ring, which is the first tunnel ring on the whole project. We've been leading to this for the last three years effectively, so it's a really big day for us here. As we push forward, we build a ring within the shield of the tunnel boring machine and then we use that to push ourselves forward and push into the ground in front, continuing on the excavation. We can't launch the whole 120 metres of TBM in this situation because we've only got a 30 metre shaft, so we have to do it in sections. Behind me you can see all the component parts that are going to make up the back end of the TBM. Each one has to be lowered down in a section and then added to the tunnel boring machine so it can move along like the factory on wheels that it is. It's taken a lot of hard work but it's great to be in this position. It's all very positive and very challenging ahead but we're all looking forward to it. The old Pumpy Station worksite is here to build a shaft to connect onto the Greenwich Connection Tunnel. This is to prevent discharges to the Thames River. Now that we've completed the guide wall at Dell, we are now starting the D-wall. So we have completed the excavation of the first D-wall panel and we're going to start concreting. The goal for me and the team on this project is to ensure that the old Pumpy Station worksite is constructed to time safely, ensure that we don't have an impact to those working nearby and living in the area, as well as leave a long-term legacy and also nurture future engineers. Our goal is to reconnect London to the river. It's a really amazing project, so I'm really happy to be part of the team. A lot of hard work ahead, but it's really great to get going. Next two or three years of tunnelling, bring it on. <laughs>